country, young people are finding creative, out-of-the-box strategies for community development and forming important partnerships to do so. So how can we get involved and support this youth movement? Youthscape is an example of a project that has taken up this challenge with a Canada-wide initiative rooted in four key pillars. These four key pillars are building youth leadership, focusing on strengths that young people have, forming partnerships, and capturing and sharing learning moments. To really support youth-led work, it needs to be about more than just developing skills. We also need to focus on how young people can sit at the decision-making table. The Beluga Show is a perfect example of building leadership. Here, a youth committee took center stage to organize and lead an annual event that worked hand in hand with the city and local police. C'est des jeunes au fait qui, il y a trois ans, dans le cadre d'un forum jeunesse, euh, ben, il y a des jeunes qui ont nommé le fait que à rivière des Prairies euh, il manquait d'activités culturelles et sociales. Il n'y avait que des sports dans le fond. Donc là, on brainstormait, ok, mais c'est quoi les façons, c'est quoi qu'on pourrait faire. Puis c'était un spectacle, on fait des spectacles, on veut des spectacles. Euh, je suis préoccupée, puis j'aimerais ça que je veux faire quelque chose pour les jeunes. Mais c'est sûr que mettre des jeunes dedans, puis ton affaire, il va jamais. Euh, ça va tout le temps continuer. Ça va être comme être une roue qui tourne. T'sais. Il y en a qui débarquent, il y en a qui rembarquent. Euh, Young people are leading a culture shift that is changing the attitudes towards youth, from people needing development to an understanding that they are leaders motivating change. Drop that beat. The Random Task Collective, which was founded by young people, exemplifies this philosophy by creating a space for teenagers to perform music free from barriers and with the support of a diverse community. The main goal of the collective on Sundays was to help provide a venue as well as real life career building skills um, in the music industry. So we added the learning element so that we could not only be learners ourselves, but also help keep other artists who we host. If you're ever given a task that is boring, you're just not interested in it, you don't want to do it. But if you're given a task or asked to do something you're really passionate about, you'll go to the ends of the earth to make sure it gets done. Well, I would say that uh, playing with the collective was one of the greatest things that ever happened to us as artists. Focusing on their strengths is critical to engaging young people effectively. By providing a positive space for young people to learn and grow on their own terms, these experiences eventually transform into lifelong building blocks. The Circus Circle in Halifax shows just that. Circus work brings young people in because it's exciting and it looks like it's going to be risky. When you're learning how to ride a unicycle, for example, you have to lean on somebody. And through that, these youth are learning trust and they're learning teamwork. And when you're trying to learn how to juggle, it takes a lot of work to, to really progress. And so they're learning how to um, set goals for themselves and work hard and reach those goals. The uh, last performance, we got a standing ovation. Every single person who was on stage for that performance walked away, I would have to say, transformed in some essential way. It was the first time that they felt that they had something to give back to a community. Once again, once this kind of thing happens, you, it cannot be taken away from you anymore. This isn't a, a theoretical kind of knowledge. It is an intrinsic, basic shift in your perception, in your knowledge, in your experience of yourself and your relationship to everybody else. To create and sustain positive change, we always need to think more broadly about who should be involved and what partnerships are necessary. An example of bold partnerships is the Victoria Youth Council, who decided to reach out to the local police and justice system to better educate young people around their rights and limitations. We engaged police and representatives from the justice system since the beginning because we felt that their expertise was needed to create a successful project. And seeing that there are two sides to the equation and thinking, you know, that's justice. We, we have rights and the police have rights and we have to respect the two. This diverse partnership resulted in the creation of a pocket guide that outlined the rights of both young people and police officers so that everyone could be better informed and more understanding. It was a, a very interesting and empowering, I would say, experience. Um, 
just to be able to say, you know, for the legitimacy of the product that we developed, that we had a police officer actually give us advice. It's surprising that youth don't do it more often because it, it was really helpful. In order to build on this momentum, it's crucial to capture the lessons learned and share both the successes and challenges. Photo Voice is an example of the power of coming together to share. The project created over 300 photographs and a video documenting the lived experiences of Aboriginal students. I'm Dakota and Photo Voice is great. I'm Carmela Graham Safino and I'm a part of Photo Voice. It felt phenomenal. I loved it. I like taking pictures a lot. I never knew how to take pictures before. It's a great picture. I, it really inspires me to take pictures and become one with nature. It's the land where I grew up on. It's the land that I love. You know where the wind blows, I got it's more than just the pictures. It's the process and it's the journey the students take. Taking the pictures and learning about themselves and it's a way to explore their community and their school. Students from the four high schools from different communities got to be part of that. We also had two community forums and we were able to invite community leaders, policy makers, educators, and uh, really engaged in intense dialogue about issues facing Aboriginal students from a historical perspective. To connect with leaders outside the Youthscape network, a national gathering has been held each year so that experiences and visions can be shared and fostered throughout the country. We need to come together to change the landscape. And one way of changing the landscape is to connect the dots, create a format where adults, young people, representatives of organizations, of foundations, could put aside their titles, their age, and relate to one another as people. I can generally say that the conference was one of the most um, inspirational experiences that I've had. Just seeing all the different youth from different communities who have their different projects that they've started up on their own um, really showed me a different side of youth leadership and what it means. So you convene people from different disciplines, from different geographical, and you bring them together. And it's amazing the sparks that can happen. And if you look at uh, any kind of issue, whether it be climate change or the economy, young people bring in energy and new ideas and perhaps new ways of organizing that we would all benefit from. We have a whole new network of information that's been shared and there is so much that can happen and I think this is a really valuable story that needs to be shared with with funders, with organizations, with with youth all across Canada, with communities all across Canada so that they can understand the power of change. So how do we change the youth engagement landscape across Canada? The projects featured in this video are just a glimpse of the incredible young people the Youthscape partners have been honoured to support. Their inspiring work and bold partnerships continue to grow in scope and impact, helping to build a better Canada now and for the future. You too can be a part of this incredible movement of change. Take the initiative, build new partnerships, support youth initiatives, start your own, believe in the possibility, your capacity and the young people in your community. There's no limit to what's possible when we come together to work for change. A rock rock to it, a freak freak to it, and to the beat to it, it's unique music. A rock rock to it, a freak freak to it, and to the beat to it, this is how we do it. Shack and Cox plots and perfects clever scams. You can't find a better man in any better jam. MC can't see the flow, unbelievable. We set records even when the need is broke. Don't need the dough, ask give more bank for your buck. The only lands it can knock, they can't handle a pop. Play penalty killer, skillfully pass and poke check.